frail and unable to defend themselves. This 68-year-old mother and grandmother is among many who have become abuse victims at an older age. She says she is her 19-year-old grandson's punching bag. When he wakes up and asks for something and we don't have, then he throws things around. He has broken my doors and windows. When I talk to him, he swears at me. He wants his demands met now. You can't say no. Despite the abuse, she is not ready to take drastic steps against her grandson. I have raised him since he was three. This is really painful because as a grandmother, I don't want to throw him out. But the way he treats me, it makes me want him in jail or in a juvenile center. But it's difficult. Experts say these cases are not uncommon. The community-based care and support services are closed due to COVID now. So most older persons are at home now. So they are experiencing a lot of abuse because it happens in the family through the adult children in the family. It can also be spouses in the family. So they are experiencing that because they cannot talk to anyone. The Department of Social Development says its hands are tied as the help they can provide to abused elders is limited. We provide the psychosocial services. We encourage, we also encourage uh, to lay criminal charges because this is a criminal offense. The problem that we have is that unfortunately the department cannot make the charge on behalf of uh, the person being abused. Uh, the person or the abused person will make the charge and then later on withdraw these charges because it's the family, it's the child. The department is adamant that more cases of abuse against the most vulnerable in society are going unreported. Communities are urged to report this heinous crime to either the police or community care-based centers. Nere Lakuta, SABC News. Kimberly.